NASA announced last week that the sun reached solar maximum and meteorologist Chris Michaels explains what this means and why it could even produce more auroras in the next year. This is this is pretty good news. Yeah, this is pretty cool, right? It doesn't just mean that it's uh, extra sunny outside. In fact, solar activity is something that's been tracked since the 1600s. Uh, just mind boggling to think about that. But roughly every 11 years, the sun's magnetic poles flip. Imagine the north and South Pole just kind of flipping. Well, that's what happens on the sun, and that tends to lead to more sunspot activity. So what does that mean for us here on Earth? You get more of these solar flares or these ejections that then head toward Earth, and they do interact with our magnetic field. That's what causes the aurora. Eventually, they kind of collide, follow the Earth's magnetic field where it's weakest at the poles, and that's how you see those auroras. The stronger that geomagnetic storm is, the farther south you can see them. So that's still a possibility in the year ahead. And there's actually some studies out there linking solar activity with winter weather. Right now on WRAL.com, I'm explaining that potential link in uh, some of the latest research. Guys? And Chris, I'm, I'm not going to complain about seeing more auroras being beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to get one out by Falls Lake. But I wonder, with this increased solar activity, are we talking about any um, I don't know, interference with our technology, phones and stuff? Yeah, so uh, this is what we're calling space weather, right? What we predict is just here on Earth. But yeah, it could interfere with uh, satellite communication and also especially for like 0.1% of the population, astronauts. It, uh, it definitely has an effect on them. So there, there's a pro and a con to this activity. The pro being seeing the auroras, the con being maybe at times interfering with some of that uh, communication. Okay, thanks, Chris. You got it.